Hello YouTube. It is early September 2017 and this is my CRKT knife collection. Uh, CRKT is uh, what I would call a schizophrenic knife company. They're, they definitely have some quality issues, uh, some great designs, but uh, they really need to get their act together and uh, hopefully they do. Um, Let's uh, let's start with the Hammond Cruiser. This knife is a 8CR14 MOB and Zytel handle, uh, spear point hog grind, about 18 bucks. Uh, it's got a lock feature. Um, nice little flipper. Uh, decent ergos. Uh, don't really carry any of these except maybe the Hoot Nanny. Um, and even that's been a while. You know, not the best flipper. This is a uh, tactical. Uh, next up is the Amicus. This is 8CR13 MOB in stainless steel. It's a drop point, flat ground. Uh, this is a uh, $37 knife designed by uh, Jesper uh, Voxenays. Uh, this is a decent knife. It's just a little heavy. Uh, Jim Hammond designed that first one, by the way. So, yeah, at all, uh, the Hoot Nanny, this, I would carry this. But again, heavy. Uh, next up is the Igniter. This is, again, that 8CR14 MOV and a G10. Uh, this has got an interesting uh, deployment feature. It's kind of a push button thumb stud. Uh, tip down only, which stinks. But uh, this isn't a bad knife. Uh, just that cheap steel. And it's uh, the deployment method is really strange. It takes a, a while to get used to. That's a $37 knife. Next up is the Kiss Assist. This is uh, Oz 4 steel and carbon fiber and stainless steel, I guess. That's the uh, the name. I guess uh, someone there has a sense of humor. Uh, again, this has got an odd uh, odd deployment. This was designed by Ed Halligan. Carbon fiber. I mentioned that uh, hollow ground, kind of a drop tano sort of setup, and then you push that button to uh, close it back up. I uh, never carried this. Uh, next up is the Enticer. This is uh, 4116 uh, steel and GFN handles. Uh, drop point hog ground, $45 knife. Uh, this is extremely lightweight. Uh, tip down only, which stinks. And again, an odd deployment method where the thumb stud, you have to kind of twist it as you push and then it unlocks the uh, unlocks the blade and uh, it has uh, some assist but it's, it's not easy uh, next up a lot of people like this one the uh, squid this is a uh, 8 CR 13 MOV and stainless steel uh, just a little knife but uh, pretty heavy for how big it is uh, spear point I guess hollow ground about 19 bucks. Uh, this was designed by uh, Lucas Burnley. Not much of a flipper, but yeah, again, these aren't really broken in because I don't ever carry them. I have smaller knives that I like better that are lighter weight. Uh, next up is the Tycoon Oz8 and aluminum drop point, hollow ground, tip down only. Designed by Brian Ty. This is a $60 knife. Uh, push button uh, release there. Uh, this knife's decent flipper. Got to put a little wrist to it, but uh, you know, looks wise, I like it. Um, not a huge fan of Oz8. And uh, tip down, just would never carry this. 
Uh, next up is a Pizzota Compact. This one is a, a keychain knife. It's a 7CR17 MOV and G10. Uh, clip point flat ground. It's a $16 knife. Uh, not bad for a little keychain knife. Or, uh, you know, watch pocket sort of thing, change pocket. Uh, next up are the Ken Onion designed. Now, this is where their design really shines. Ken's a hell of a designer, and uh, some of these are cool knives. They just need uh, some better steel. Uh, let's start off with the uh, Eros uh, Oz 8. Sort of a gentleman's folder, tip down only. Uh, stainless steel, drop point, hollow ground, $48 knife. Uh, next up is the Swindle. This is uh, this one's unusual because of the, uh, the clips on the back. Uh, again, a, sort of a gentleman's folder. It's got the uh, IBKS bearings or whatever. Uh, this is a $38 knife. Uh, sort of a Warren Cliff. Yeah, Warren Cliff hollow ground. Uh, this is pretty cool. This would be a, a, a viable gentleman folding option. Uh, although a lot of with this pocket clip, a lot of that would stick out of your pocket. So maybe you just drop it in. But uh, frame lock, it's nice. Uh, next up, uh, a lot of people love this one. The Ripple. This is a, a Kudo 440 steel and stainless steel. Uh, drop point hog ground, $50 knife. Uh, out of all the knives uh, that I've seen reviewed on YouTube, this one got a ton of love and that's the one reason I bought it was because of the YouTube love or social media love. And uh, uh, I gotta say, I mean, it's okay. Um, I don't think it's worth the money, and, uh, I know I got a deal on it. I had this one first, the, the Ripple 2, and didn't love it, and then, uh, I saw this, it was so ridiculously cheap I had to get it, so I got a good deal on this. I didn't pay 50 bucks for it. Uh, the Ripple 2, kind of a bronze, smaller version of the same knife. The Ripple 2 is about 38 bucks. Again. But, uh... You know, people love these for some reason. I just don't see it. The uh, Steel and the Ripple 2 is 8CR14 MOV. Uh, next up, uh, the Shenanigan. This is Oz 8 and a polymer handle. Uh, I guess that's a, that's a drop point uh, hologram. And this knife is about 37 bucks. Oh, uh, not bad. It's lightweight, but again, tip down. But uh, this is a, a, if you're looking for a lightweight option, this would be viable. Uh, if you know how to sharpen, I would say because of the Aussie. Uh, the Hoot Nanny. This is, uh, this is a great design. This is the 8CR13 MOV stainless steel. And uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe Zytel. Um, drop point, hollow ground. The Hootenanny is a $45 knife. Uh, they, and it's on the bearings. Um, great jimping. Great choke up. This is just a perfect design. Uh, they actually did come out with an upgraded version of this with, I think, titanium, carbon fiber, and uh, an upgraded steel. Um, they did it, I pre-ordered it, I got it, and a day later it got recalled because uh, they had quality issues in the factory and I don't think they heat treated the blades. And I think there's some YouTube videos out on that. Uh, so that right after that happened, I don't think I, I've bought a, a CRKT knife since. Um, they really need to earn my trust back and uh, so far I haven't seen anything that they're offering that I need to have. So, anyways. Next up, uh, this is not a Ken Onion design. This is uh, the Free Range 8 uh, CR13 MOV polymer uh, clip point and hollow ground. Oh, that's a cool little pouch knife. Got some jimping. 
nice size. You know, if you uh, wear belt knives, this wouldn't be a bad option. Uh, the fixed blades. I have the uh, the moss back. This is a uh, kind of a bird and trout knife. Uh, SKS and G10. Uh, drop point. Uh, that feels hollow. Hologram. Uh, this knife's about 35 bucks. Free range is about 30. Um, not a bad knife. I don't know much about that steel. Next up is the Minimalist. This is 5CR15 MOV. Micarta. Uh, it's kind. Of, it's a neck knife. Um, I keep it in a in a pouch, uh, an emergency backup kind of pouch in my car. Uh, it's twenty four dollars. Uh, not bad, you know. With with a lanyard on it, you get which that's a factory lanyard. You know, you can get full four fingers, and you know it's enough to do some work. Um, in summation, if you're looking for a cheap knife i would look at kershaw's not necessarily crkt let them earn your trust back my trust back everyone's trust back that, that debacle with that was ridiculous and uh i they just really in my eyes have not recovered from that and uh and i don't know if they will so anyways uh thanks youtube uh like subscribe and i'll see you next time